need something to track God down one of the uh, the necessary fabrics we use for our building is the song of the spirit he said were you there where the morning stars sang together and all the songs of God shouted for joy when the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy you know what the scripture means it means that music was part of the fabric that was used to weave creation the morning stars were singing they were singing into the fabric of creation and that's why if you hit anything it will make sound because it was built into it and that's why your hands when you for clap your hands is is so if we want to begin a construction to trap god down oh you know it me you know it If you want to build something to track God down, one of the, uh, the necessary fabrics we use for our building is the song of the Spirit. He said, were you there? Where the morning stars sang together and all the songs of God shouted for joy. How many of you have been in that place in the spirit where in order for you to find ventilation you just need to shout have you been there before and that is irrespective of your commitment to decorum <laughs> there are that dimensions of god that do not have um logical expressions and that's why in the book of psalms you will see that there are seven hebrew words used for for praise one of them is shabak which is a shout that is born of the spirit and it comes from the depth of the belly that was the shout that was used to bring down the walls of jericho it was a shabak the walls of jericho was a cuboid like a cube of sugar if it falls you know a cube of sugar it will be the same height that it was when it was still standing so the wall of Jericho did not fall it sank and I'm telling you from the perspective of archaeologists they found the remains of the world intact underground. You know, Joshua had a conversation with the captain of the angelic side. The mystery about the army of Israel was that uh, it was not only populated with mortal men, it was also populated with angelic kind. And that was what God wanted to show the general, Joshua. When he took inventory of the walls of Jericho and he saw that it was a cuboid and it cannot be breached by any military tactics, he was frustrated and he went to meditate in the bush and then the angel showed himself. But unfortunately for Joshua, he spoke like a warrior. Are you for us or against us? And the angel said, nay, not for you and I'm not against you. My, my marching orders come from another quarter. If I find you cooperating with my marching orders, I will cooperate with you. If I find you contradicting my marching orders, you are the first one that will come down by my sword. So you will now see that angels do not take instructions from you as you were taught. They told you to send your angel. But see, you have not studied your Bible. <laughs> that's that's fantasy preaching that making people just uh, taking them to the place called utopia 
where the realities of God are not. Jesus was on the cross. Jesus, the master, he was on the cross. And what did Jesus say? He said, I would have prayed the Father and he would send 12 legions of angels. Jesus did not say, let me command. Then you now, you have come to command. <laughs> Sometimes I hear some, some things, I laugh. And for the past 15 years, there have been many reasons to laugh at what we call preaching. Nay! I'm not for you, I'm not against you. But as a captain of the armies of the Lord, am I come? The punishment that was given to Joshua for that kind of communication was that he should keep quiet for seven days. He talks too much. And then on the seventh day, he should keep quiet and march around the wall seven times. When he does that, he will begin to hear the rhythm of the marching of the invincible armies. When the, when the sequence of the match pass becomes one, then they can now shabak. And their shabak will activate the angels to stand on the walls and stamp upon it, and it will sink. So, those technologies of how the unseen realm moves and how to align with it and trap it and work with it to accomplish things that are impossible. We saw it littered across the Old Testament.